Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and it's a review of another e-bike. This one is by Engway and some of the limitations with some of the bikes I've tried meant you needed access to private lands to be able to use them. Not so with this one. Um, most people potentially watching this video have heard of the Engway Engine Pro. Uh, nice, powerful, fully featured e-bike um, but you can't ride it on the roads uh, or in public. You need private land to go and use that one. This is kind of the little brother to the Engine Pro. This is the Engine X. Full suspension, so we've got a nice hub there. We've got front suspension, and yeah, you can ride this one as it comes from the factory legally in the United Kingdom, as the law stands at the moment. It does have a throttle. It's not illegal to have a throttle. It is, however, illegal to use a throttle and it comes disabled from the factory and limited to pedal assist only up to 15.5 miles an hour so that's the law familiarize yourself with the law don't stray from it that's just my little disclaimer anyway i've got this one paired up with this lovely saddle bag you've got these nice sides which pop down um, you know i'll do all this in a bit more detail when we get further on on the ride um, but it's nice, well put together, weighs an absolute ton. Got the battery fully charged up, it's got a nice front light there, and on the back, it's got a rear brake light. And today, and they're coming in very handy, got these mug guards because the canal was absolute, it's like that I was cycling through like a chocolate mousse, sliding all over the place, and I've got the tyres pumped up fully. I should have maybe let some air out just to improve the grip. I've got a stove, I've got a new chair to look at as we're having our lunch out, but yeah, um, having a bike, having an e-bike, it's just a nice way of getting around. Um, it's a low impact way, isn't it? Getting out and covering some mileage. So we'll press on, we'll take in the sights and scenery of the Lancashire Plain along the way. We'll have a nice warming drink, some noodles halfway round, and yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about this bike. Now, let's see if we can manage pedalling and talking to the camera at the same time. It's nice and comfortable, the big fat tyres um, dampen out the bumps and like I say, it's full suspension so it's, uh, it's a bit more of a comfortable ride than the hardtail bikes. E-bikes are becoming really popular and there's a bit of, um, you know, there's been some tragic things going on in terms of batteries and really bad quality chargers. Um, it's not the case with the Engway um, batteries and chargers. If you're using the official chargers that come with the bike, the official battery, and you're not modifying it in any way, you'll be absolutely fine. I always monitor mine when I'm charging it, and um, I leave the batteries basically in the shed. Um, you're not meant to do that, obviously, you know, because the battery's being stored in the cold, especially this time of year. So it probably isn't the best for your battery life, but in terms of safety, I just feel a bit better knowing I've got the batteries in the shed, so anything happen. So yeah, we are going to head off um, to a nice patch of woodland called Bat Loom. And um, yeah, I'll show you this chair, and it's about time we had something to eat. Listen to that lovely noise, that wind in the pines. There's a bit of weather heading in. We're losing the sun and there's a bit of rain coming. E-bikes and rain don't generally mix very well. So if needs be, we'll find some shelter, but it'll be fine. The battery compartment is pretty well protected as are all the the terminals and stuff like that so we should be all right i'm not sure if i'm going to get the chair out here um, or somewhere a little bit more secluded but how nice is it just to listen to that sound i'll see if we can capture it on the mic
So just a few more technical specs on the bike. It's got seven speed Shimano gears. It's Shimano Tawny, so not top spec group set, but absolutely fine for this. The rear rack, very, very sturdy with a 25 kilo carrying capacity. I've seen people put little seats on these. Um, the suspension works well. Again, just keep an eye on the bolts, make sure they're all tightened, sort of your pre-ride routine or your post-ride routine, ready for your next go. And the front forks, again, um, you know, they're not branded, but you've got a nice bit of lockout and you can adjust for preload too. The brakes are mechanical, mechanical discs, and the Engine Pro has hydraulic disc brakes, but these operate just fine. Cable adjusted, so if you need to make some subtle changes, you know, it's, it's absolutely fine. But in terms of stopping power, because uh, this is one heavy unit, um, you know, they're absolutely fine. So the battery's in here too, so when you unlock that hinge mechanism, open the bike up, the battery sits in here. Um, all the terminals are in there. I take it out, leave it separately to the bike, so you can charge the battery when it's still inside the bike via this rubberized port here. I never get it to fit properly. And it's been like that on all the bikes I've tried, so it might just be me, who knows. Um, but yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a big, heavy lump, but you know, it's solid. Um, it's well put together, big heavy unit um, and you know it gets you around. I like the way you can operate the light from the computer. You can tweak various different settings as well. The seat is really really comfortable. I like it when you've got that bit of a cut out there, especially if you're a bloke. just makes things more comfortable in the undercarriage department. And yeah, um, nice little bell there just to warn people of your presence. There's nothing more annoying than have a bike come up behind you and you know, you've got to cough and things like that and like make weird noises to get people's attention. Use a bell, um, you know, it saves you having to do weird things like that. I think we might stay here. I'm going to get the stove out, get a warm and drink. Um, in fact, we'll press on a little bit further around just so we've got a bit of a, uh, views we can see if people are approaching because it's weird isn't it talking to a camera on your own in the middle of nowhere so it's nice to get the heads up if there's dog walkers or people like that coming so we'll make our way around to the other side of these fields we'll get the chair out and we'll get a quick warming drink down us now the ground is so wet it's completely waterlogged and like i say these tires if you've got them pumped up to the max and there's 20 psi um, they don't afford much grip on this slippy boggy ground so if it was coming out again in these conditions and here comes the rain i would uh, i just let some air out the tires um, just to save the wheels skidding in all this sloppy mud oh here's the weather Right, because it's so muddy, I need two hands, so I'll put the camera down and I'll speak to you when we get to our lunch spot. Well, the weather has really come in now. I wish I didn't have my fingerless gloves on. I'm looking into the distance, I think it's going to brighten up again, but yeah, we'll try and find some shelter. The bike's wet, you know, so... It is a test after all, you can see it's absolutely covered. Some quite heavy showers have been hitting in, so we see how it fares. Uh, it should be fine, but yeah, we'll try and get a bit of shelter and I want to get something nice and warm down me. Yeah, we'll go and get a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, cold fingers, right. I don't know why I don't know why I didn't put my rain cover on. I'll show you this chair and um, you know get the stove out and get the warm jacket on. It's all good fun. You know, I'd rather be doing this than sat in watching the telly. The men's arch rock double wall elite by Columbia. I had this months ago, I've done a standalone review, link above but ideal for sort of like now I'm just going to put it around this 
um, and just stay warm as we're having a bit of lunch. Yeah. That's better. Lose the lid for now as well. I can't. I can't use my fingers. You lose your dexterity to that cold. There we go. So no issues with the rain. Everything's still working as it should. Control panel. Just turn this off. There you go. Definitely needs a bit of muck off. When I get in, a bit of a wipe down. I won't just leave it in the shed like this. You know, things get mouldy and rusty, so you've still got to look after your gear. Chair, you ready for it? Trichology, pretty light. Not the lightest, but yeah, watch this. It all just folds, folds into its own pouch. Telescopic legs. There we are. I won't be able to set it up one-handed, but you can just see. It's quite clever the way it's gone from that. So yeah, I'll get it set up. Nice and easy, you can just do it clicking into place and again and that's it. Legs out, got a couple more stops on the back edge. That's pretty good. Yeah. You can almost sort of recline in it. Oh, get the hood on on the stove. Well, it's nice, it's a nice nature reserve out there. We'll get a brew on. Oh, it's lovely. Very welcoming. The meal of choice here on MCM Outdoors. Sweet chili noodles or noodles. Yeah, so it's a bit windy and this, this reactor stove, I've said it before, it's the fastest, most efficient stove there is. Um, I will, you know, happily put my name to that. Um, got a nice mocha to have with this. But it's only been on about 30 seconds or so. Cheers everyone. Oh, that's better.
I nearly forgot the star of the show. The fake little Snickers. Peanut and Choco. Right, I'll show you this chair going away. Now, hopefully it'll do it. You know, it won't snag or anything. I've only done it once before, but again, just little press tabs. And these telescopic arms. I'm not sure if this is out yet, I don't think it is, um, but it won't be long. And that's it, all folds back down. It's a nice clever design. And then back into its own stuff sack, there we go. Zip it up. And that's done. That is nice actually. It's a nice bit of kit. Great stuff, Trekology. Be using it on future wild camps. Get the bag packed up. And then we'll get the show on the road. Right, time to go. So just a little note on battery life. Um, we started off with full charge, five bars, and we've still got full charge, five bars. That's using various different levels of pedal assist, predominantly two and three, especially on the, uh, on the wet, soggy ground, just to try and stay in a bit of control. But yeah, battery life's great, and it's a cold day. Very, very cold, I am I'm cold. Um, so it's doing well, as you know, um, lithium polymer batteries um, in the cold are susceptible to, to depleting much faster at a much faster rate just due to the way they operate, the physics involved. Um, but this is doing well, so whether or not there's a little bit of insulation obviously inside the, the down tube, but you know, it's still doing a good job. So yeah, impressive in terms of the battery life too. Well, I'm almost home now, so I'll get back to the relative shelter of the garden and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Engway Engine X. I'm just gonna give it a quick blast with the hose, but first I'll just take the battery out. You got this catch. I'm trying to do it one-handed, so it's difficult. You got your key, you got this lock locking pin you turn the key that retracts like so and again one-handed battery will just come out like so and it's a 624 watt hour battery and that's it give it a quick wash So what are my thoughts, my final thoughts on the Engway Engine X? Um, for me, um, I prefer it out of all the Engway bikes that I've tried, namely because um, it's street legal as it comes here in the UK. Um, and to me, uh, that, that makes it obviously a, a no brainer. Um, I like the suspension, uh, the saddle's nice and comfy five levels of pedal assist, really decent battery, um, and you do get some decent range out of it. I'll put all the official specs from Engway below. Bear in mind though that that's obviously in ideal stroke lab conditions. It's good quality um, and reasonably affordable. There's some great offers to be had. Um, if you shop around and look online, an Engway 
have various offers as well. To me, um, the old e-bikes offer um, a nice way of exploring the outdoors. I've got some ideas in mind for some warmer weather, uh, for some bike packing trips, um, and I'll hopefully be carrying along some spare batteries to really get to, well, I've got something in mind for the summer when it's nice and warm and it'll be nice and the e-bike is gonna let me go and do that. Of course, you know, you don't need e-bikes. Um, I'm not saying that, um, but they are becoming more and more popular. You don't get as fit, do you, when you're using one, but, you know, if you've got health issues or mobility issues and, you know, standard cycling is a bit of a problem for you, maybe getting up inclines and difficult terrain, well, if an e-bike is something which lets you get out and explore and sort of overcome those issues, I think they're absolutely fantastic. So I'll leave the links below. I really enjoy it. Um, and it's a cracking bike that I've, I've loved getting to grips with. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching and take care.